little sausage. Oh. Hey, you are a little sausage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How do we always find the dogs? Okay. The traffic here is insane. Oh. Literally every crossing is a bit of a gamble. Good morning guys! We are in Phnom Penh in Cambodia. Uh, it's a bit bloody mental here to be honest. It's really busy. It's the capital city, there's everything going on. But it's been really good. Uh, yesterday we went to the Killing Fields, which is obviously like the sad history of the Cambodian people. Um, but today we're off on a little walk. I've done some Googling this morning. Tom's really happy about it. And we're just going to go see some of the sites. Most of them are free, so that's all good as well. They've got these really cool shiny new little tuk-tuks here in Phnom Penh as well. And they run off an app, it's kind of like Uber for tuk-tuks. It's called Pass App and they're so good, they're so cheap, they run an LPG. And they are everywhere, it's so easy to get. And you just put it in, in the app, and you just go wherever you want to go. This is out across the road in Cambodia. Ah, ah, ah. Our first stop today is Central Market. Uh, it looks freaking massive. Look how awesome is this building? This is like the fanciest market I've been to. Oh, I've never seen so many watches. Of course. Jewelry. See, I think it's fair to say that in most relationships, it would be me that's really into the shopping. Not the case with us. Tom loves it. He loves it. I just said, oh, should we go to the next stop? Because I've got like a little route plan. He's just like, no. I'm gonna keep looking, thanks. All right then, shopping it is. <laughs> there is everything in here. Everything you could ever want. I guess this is a pretty good example of like the new and the old and everything coming together. We've got the old French colonial style building, the railway station behind us, and then you go this way, you got this thing. I don't know what it is, but it's very shiny. And we've got the monument as well. And it's kind of like that everywhere. There's a bit of everything going on. I mean, the history's a bit crazy. Yeah, there is a real mix of architecture, that's for sure. We've come to Wat Nom. Uh, I've actually been to Phnom Penh before. And I was looking through my photos from when I was backpacking. And there's a picture of my friend that I took walking up these stairs. I remember it at all. I'm finding that a bit here. I'm walking around. I know I've been here, but I don't recognise anything. Like, I think I'm losing my shit. I think I'm just going senile. It's just so unfamiliar to me, even though it was only five years ago. Which is really bad. Shrugging though, it's so hot. Like, sweaty, sweaty, sweaty messes. But this is the old market. I don't know all the differences, but we're here, so we're gonna look at it. <laughs> That's normal here. I was in on body weight. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to do it. So this is the Royal Palace. Uh, sadly, you can't see much of it. I don't know if you can go inside or what. So there we go, have a look. So we've been out about four hours now. It's pretty bloody hot. Go to that final little spot though. It is the Cambodia Vietnam Memorial, Friendship Memorial. And um, I believe it's to do with, or well, from when the Vietnamese helps the Cambodians get rid of Pol Pot and their his regime. So it's pretty important. It links on to yesterday, the Killing Fields as well. 